Friendship by Marla Frizzy. Boots and Shoe were born in the, to the same litter, and now they live in the same house. They eat dinner out of the same bowl, they pee on the same tree, at night they sleep in the same bed. But Boots spends his days on the back porch because he's a back porch kind of dog. And Shoe spends his days on the front porch because he's a front porch kind of dog. This is exactly perfect for both of them. Then one day, for no apparent reason, a squirrel started some trouble. It chattered at Boot. It chattered at Shoe. It threw stuff at Boot. It threw stuff at Shoe. Then it get all up in Boot business and it got all up in shoes business too whoa something had to be done so ben and shoe chased that squirrel all over the place they chased in chased in chased in until it got bored and walked away boot collapsed shoe collapsed too when boot opened his eyes he saw that he was on the front porch he looked around for shoe shoe should be here but he wasn't oh no when Shu opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the back porch. He looked around for Boot. Boot should be here, but he wasn't. Oh, no. Boot searched the front porch for Shu. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck. Shu searched the back porch for Boot. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck for him either. Boot decided to station himself on the front porch and wait there until Shu found his way back. And Shu decided to station himself on the back porch and wait there until Boot found his way back. It was a long, lonely afternoon. When it was dinner time, Boot's stomach rumbled, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Shu. Shu's stomach rumbled too, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Boot. It was a long, hungry evening. At bedtime, Boot was shivering, but he didn't want to get into bed without Shoe. Shoe was shivering too, but he didn't want to get into bed without Boot. Once during the night, Boot walked slowly around to the back porch to see if Shoe was there, and Shoe walked slowly around to the front porch to see if Boot was there, but no luck again. So Boot ended back up on the front porch waiting for Shoe, and Shoe ended up back on the back porch waiting for Boot. It was a long, sleepless night. The sun came up. On the front porch, there was still no sign of Shoe. Boot began to cry. On the back porch, there was still no sign of Boot. Shoe began to cry too. But even in the worst times, the dog still needs to pee. Boot dragged himself over to the tree. Shu dragged himself over to the tree, too. And suddenly, lo and behold, there they were again. Overjoyed to see each other. Overtired, too. So even though the day was just beginning, Ben Shu decided that the exact perfect thing for both of them to do was go right to bed. Together, of course. I hope you enjoyed Ben Shu. See you next time. Thank you.